Money changes the world, sometimes quite literally. Today, people can construct and move massive structures at incredible speeds. We can redirect rivers, create new islands, and achieve many other feats that just a few decades ago seemed impossible. Judging by the current pace, humanity shows no signs of stopping anytime soon. Every project has a final cost, most commonly measured in dollars. Hundreds of billions of dollars are spent annually on creating infrastructural marvels. We present to you the three most interesting construction mega projects of 2023. Let's get started. In Las Vegas, the construction of the MSG Spear concert venue is nearing completion, which is called the world's largest spherical structure and concurrently the largest spherical screen. Its exterior is a massive LED display, and inside the arena lies, as claimed by its creators, the world's largest curved LED display with the highest resolution. The building stands at a height of 111.5 meters with a width of 157.3 meters. Its external surface is covered by 1.2 million LED panels, the size of hockey pucks each containing 48 LEDs displaying 256 colors. The giant screen is capable of showcasing dynamic images, likely among the world's largest. While the official opening of the facility is yet to take place, the screen already demonstrated its capabilities this year during the celebration of Independence Day in the United States. After its opening, the screen will perform shows every night, and sometimes its displays will be themed around celebrated holidays. On Halloween, it will transform into a giant pumpkin, and on Christmas, it will become a snow globe. The sphere was designed by the architecture firm Populous, responsible for many of the world's largest sports arenas. The 18,000-seat concert venue will open on September 29th with the first of 25 U2, UV Actung Baby Live at Spear Concerts, performed by the renowned Irish band U2 in honor of their 1991 album Actung Baby. Ticket prices will start at $140. There will also be exclusive screenings of Darren Aronofsky's film Postcards from Earth. In November, the Las Vegas Grand Prix Formula One Street Circuit will pass through the facility's grounds, and it will also host boxing matches, mixed martial arts tournaments, and other sports events. And of course, musician concerts will also be held here. However, all these performances might seem ridiculously miniature against the backdrop of the 76-meter screen, with a resolution of 19,000 by 13,500 pixels in the concert venue. It also has 160,000 speakers, enabling every visitor to enjoy high-quality sound regardless of their seating location. Interestingly, the seats are equipped with tactile actuators that can vibrate, for instance, when the screen displays an earthquake. The venue also features 4D machines capable of simulating wind, altering temperature, and producing scents. The first activation of the exosphere was tied to the U.S. Independence Day on July 4th. The gigantic spherical display showcased animations during the day and night, depicting the American flag, fireworks, a giant blinking eye, and a rotating earth. The exosphere is more than a screen or a billboard. It is living architecture and unlike anything that exists anywhere in the world, said MSG Spear Senior Vice President Guy Barnett. In 2018, when the MSG Spear project was developed by the architectural firm Populous and first announced, its estimated cost was $1.2 billion. However, due to inflation, the pandemic, supply chain disruptions, and construction complexities, Spear Entertainment had to spend $2.3 billion to construct the giant Spear. As a result, MSG Spear became the most expensive structure in Las Vegas, pushing the $1.9 billion Allegiant Stadium into second place. In MSG Spear movie screenings and artist performances will become much more impressive than in stadiums not designed for such purposes. The giant spear aims to solidify Las Vegas' title as the entertainment capital of the world and become one of the most recognizable landmarks in the United States. A similar counterpart was planned in London, but British authorities slowed down the project due to concerns about light pollution in the city. Critics also warned that the large displays could distract drivers and lead to road accidents. In just social media, users have expressed numerous concerns about the exosphere. Many worry that city authorities might want to use it as the Eye of Sauron for surveillance and control of people, or that the luminous and shimmering sphere will attract UFOs, hackers, and consumers of hallucinogenic mushrooms. The second mega project we will talk about today is located in France, where the assembly of the world's largest nuclear fusion reactor has begun. This could become a breakthrough in the field of energy. In the south of France, the assembly of the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor has commenced. In the case of success, this project will mark a significant milestone in energy production, offering humanity a new efficient and safe source of energy. 
However, things are not as simple as they may seem. International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor is a joint project of China, the European Union, India, Japan, South Korea, the United States, and Russia. Each participating country is financing its construction. The history of the ITER dates back to the late 1970s, when most of the mentioned participants formed a group under the auspices of the International Atomic Energy Agency to explore new ways of extracting nuclear energy. The initial prototype of the facility was developed in the early 1980s, and in 1988, the International Atomic Energy Agency project was officially launched. Initially, the project engineers determined the location and necessary parameters of the future installation. Subsequently, its budget was established, which amounted to 10 billion euros as of 2006. The construction of the thermonuclear reactor was initially planned for 2015, but it had to be postponed for at least six years. During this time, both the conditions, such as the coronavirus pandemic and the project's budget changed, growing to 20 billion euros. ITER covers an area of 42 hectares, and the project currently involves 2,300 employees. ITER is a type of tokamak thermonuclear reactor. A tokamak is a device used to contain plasma, which is employed in nuclear reactors to facilitate thermonuclear fusion. The fusion of two atomic cores. Plasma serves as the medium for this reaction. Unlike most reactors, where energy is released through the splitting of radioactive elements, this project will use an environmentally safe nuclear fusion technology. It releases energy with practical absence of radiation. The main goal of ITR is to demonstrate that obtaining energy through nuclear fusion can be efficient and, above all, commercially viable. This would enable humanity to finally move away from oil and coal, the use of which harms the Earth's atmosphere. Not everyone agrees that nuclear fusion is the technology of the future. Despite being studied since the mid-20th century, scientists have not yet been able to demonstrate that it can provide enough energy. It is planned that the construction of ITER will be completed by 2025. By then, it will begin to generate energy through nuclear fusion. However, as the French newspaper Le Figaro notes, it is not expected that nuclear fusion will become economically viable before 2060. The largest developer in the UAE Benghadi company has initiated the construction of a new skyscraper in Dubai in partnership with the renowned jewelry and watch brand Jacob & Co. It's called Burj Benghadi Jacob & Co. Residences. There have been several contenders for the title of world's tallest tower since Burj Khalifa claimed the crown back in 2010, and now one of them is vying for a slightly different title, world's tallest residential tower. The height of the Burj Binghadi Jacob and Co. Residences complex, which will have more than 100 floors, is not yet disclosed. However, the project's creators claim that the skyscraper will surpass the current tallest residential building in the world, the 472-meter Central Park Tower in New York. The premium class Burj Binghati Jacob and Co. Residences complex is sure to attract the attention of all those wishing to immerse themselves in a luxurious lifestyle in the vibrant business bay area near Dubai's key attractions. The project, inspired by the brilliance of precious gemstones and the aesthetics of the finest watch collections, will become a true architectural masterpiece and one of Dubai's symbols. The tower is crowned with an elegant high crown that illuminates the entire building and its surroundings with a dazzling glow of diamonds. One of the distinctive features of the new complex in Dubai, situated in the Business Bay District, will be huge elements in the form of crystals on the roof, reminiscent of Jacob & Co's diamond-encrusted watches. The company's experts will also be involved in developing the interior details of the luxurious penthouses on the upper floors, each of which will be named after a specific watch model of the brand. Residents of Burj Binghati Jacob & Co residences will have access to a panoramic pool overlooking the city center spa salons gyms, childcare facilities, as well as a team of personal chefs, drivers, and security personnel. The completion of the construction of Burj Benghadi Jacob & Co. Residences is scheduled for the second quarter of 2026. Currently, real estate can be acquired here through a convenient 60 to 40 payment plan. Prices for apartments in Burj Benghadi Jacob & Co. Residences start from $2,315,000. Write in the comments what other interesting mega projects you know. If you found something new and interesting in this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Caro Show channel so you don't miss new videos. See you next time.